subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. So this is the not pink, the new shade of the device. First impressions video. We're going to talk a little bit about the box, what came in it, but mostly this is a first impression video. I did collaborate with Google and Team Pixel to bring you this video right here and this phone to the channel. The small one is my own, but this one I teamed up with Google for. So show some love by visiting the at Google Pixel Instagram handle or at Made by Google YouTube channel. Also, you might see some of my videos at the hashtag Team Pixel on Instagram. So look out for those. I'm going to be shooting some photos around Chicago. But mostly this is possible thanks to your viewership. So I do highly appreciate that. And you guys continue to support the videos. All the opinions in this video are my own, expressed by me only. No contracts. I say what I want and like it is. So let's get started. When you first get the Google Pixel 3 XL, you're going to notice the box is very similar to last year's Google Pixel 2 XL, almost identical, just a few picture changes to match this year's phone. On the side, you do have the side bezels of the box, and at the rear, it does say Team Pixel, just like last year. The Google Pixel 3 XL on the inside does present you with some stickers that say Team Pixel, as well as some warranty information for said device. And you also do have some Google Pixel earbuds that are, are in the box, and you do have a dongle, some USB adapters, and USB-C to USB-C, as well as a fast charger included all in the box. Now, Google was also kind enough to send out the new Pixel stand that goes with this device, which you can just prop your Google Pixel 3 XL on, and it will start charging immediately. It's a pretty awesome piece of tech to just add to your desk or whatever if you just want to wirelessly charge because that's a new feature on here with this new glass back you can wirelessly charge the google pixel 3 xl i've been using this thing for about 24 hours now and i want to talk about the display first of all it's blowing away the google pixel 2 xl's display from last year the colors are so much better and uh, this one was made by samsung one thing i have noticed is a little bit dimmer than some other flagships but not so much so that's unusable just a little bit dimmer than some other flagships now i do really like how sharp the display is at 1440p by 2960 pixels resolution. So this thing has a very high density, just like most of the Galaxy phones that are on the market. So if you do like this device's, you know, 1440p display, you're gonna love how sharp that text is on this device. So very nice stuff there for the Google Pixel 3 XL. Now on the rear, we do have ourselves a 12 megapixel camera. This is that AI camera, and this is also shooting at 2160p. Not sure if it does 4K 60, I'm, I don't think it does, but we'll do some video samples. We're gonna do some comparisons. You're gonna see how good this camera really is. So far, I'm thinking this might be the best on the market right now. Four gigabytes of RAM coupled with a Snapdragon 845, so it brings it in line with phones like the Galaxy S9 Plus. For example, the Galaxy S9, any flagship of this year, it's basically in line, except for the RAM, it's a little bit lower, but with Google's optimized Google software, it shouldn't be too bad in terms of performance. So we're gonna test performance and speed test on the channel as well. 3430 milliamp hour battery on this guy, which is a pretty sizable unit, and I found that the battery life is definitely draining not too fast. So I'm liking what I'm seeing so far for battery life. I will have to test it more in depth to give you a more kind of like experience of the battery life than just saying, well, what size the battery is. So I wanna talk about this whole notch thing because this is the infamous thing a lot of people are, you know, addressing. I had heard some people having NFC issues. I haven't had those yet on this phone, but this is easily rectified. At first, I didn't really like this either, but now that I realize that you can actually hide the notch on the Pixel 3 XL, something you can't do on all phones, you can go to display cutout and you can scroll down. Let, you, let it just scroll automatically instead of us trying to find it. It'll scroll automatically. We'll go to our display cutout and you can see you could just hit hide right here and look what happens. It turns you into a notchless phone right here. And because it's an OLED display, AMOLED display, you could see that it's super dark here so you don't even look like you have any notch on the display now it does compact it down so i would recommend if you hide a notch to make the text font size not too large or it'll be like it's squeezed in but still there's no notch here now on this phone and this basically makes it look like the google pixel 3 the smaller one so this is saving the day for me with this device on this phone every single app will no longer show the notch so it doesn't matter what app you're in it'll be gone if you go ahead and disable it so this shouldn't be a huge concern of yours if you really don't like it, but you really want the Google Pixel experience, just hide it. It'll be just fine. You'll still enjoy this device. In terms of that notch itself, you can also go ahead and change basically how it looks as well. You can make it a taller one. So if it cuts too deep, there is an option to make it a little bit less deep. So 
Let's scroll down, let it find it again. Set display cutout. And if we go down here to display cutout, you can see that you can make it a tall cutout instead of just that regular one that comes really deep. It gives you just a millimeter or whatever of distance from the top. So you can see if I put device default, it comes down a little bit more. If I go to tall cutout, comes up a little bit. So it's a little bit smaller. Now in real world practice, if you are gonna leave this on, I, I noticed that most applications don't even cut into that cutout anyway. So if you scroll through here, you can see that nothing's actually going into that notch. If you go into say a YouTube video, let's go ahead and watch my YouTube video. And once we get past this, skip survey, you can see in YouTube videos, it will if you pinch in. But again, if you disable that notch, you will no longer see it. You can keep it down like this to the original if you don't wanna be bothered with it. So there's ways around it. And if you really don't want it, just get the smaller Google Pixel 3. It's the same phone with no cutout. Now this one has a much larger battery, so I'm expecting better battery life on this device, although it is pushing more pixels, but still expecting more battery life there. In terms of that blue shift, I haven't really been seeing much of it at all to speak of for this panel, just a slight tint. Nothing like last year where it was so obvious, but here just a very slight tint of blue. Nothing out of the ordinary, but it still does it a little bit. It's still not perfectly white, so we still need a little work to be done here. But overall, I still think this display is 10 times better than last year's display on the Pixel 2 XL. In terms of performance, Android 9 Pie is just super smooth. Like it's like iPhone buttery smooth like that. So if you like that buttery smooth feel, you're gonna love Android 9 Pie. You can go ahead and swipe up for the new gesture system. You can go through your applications like so. It's just really fun to use. And I think it's super modern feeling and that's what I really like about it. And you're gonna get updates faster than basically any other smartphone on the market. So Android 9 Pie is a definite win. You get options like digital well-being you also get battery modes like adaptive battery that learn how your battery usage is and gives you better battery life overall by shutting off applications you don't use and doing some other stuff in the background to really save the battery on your pixel 3 xl so it should be a pretty easy all-day smartphone here and this one has new security features a titan m on this phone so there's a lot going on here for android 9 pi to keep this phone not only secure but also add some nice new touches and features it's still a refinement over Android Oreo, but it brings the new gesture base OS, which is pretty smooth, I find, on the Pixel 3 XL. They're just a little getting used to because like a half swipe will bring you to the multitasking and then a full swipe will bring you into your app drawer. Now, one thing I wanna mention is if you get the Pixel 3 XL, you get six months free of YouTube music, which is pretty sick. If you buy this, you do get free unlimited storage with Google Photos at full resolution for a few years. So that's a pretty cool touch here for the Pixel 3 XL as well. Bluetooth 5.0 is on board. The build quality of this device, pretty light glass on the rear, definitely put a case on this one. It's like a refinement over the Pixel 2 XLs design. So if you like a, a more premium feel, you'll definitely like this one a little bit more than last year's device. And I wanna mention that the storage, even though it only comes in 64 and 128, it doesn't come in like a 256 or a 512, it doesn't really need it because it utilizes smart storage and uses Google Photos. So you're likely never gonna run out of storage on this phone, even though you don't have the highest capacity model of this device. In terms of the camera, this is gonna be the standout feature of the Pixel 3 XL, just like every year before it. Here's a case that Google also sent by Heather Day. Check her out on Instagram. You can see right here, if we hit camera and snap very fast, it has like the smart burst mode. It'll analyze and try to find the best photo in that smart burst. You also have a new UI that's just super simple. Left to right camera, very easy to use, especially if you're coming over from an iPhone. Portrait mode has some pretty good edge detection and really good depth effect going on here. So this camera is just a point and shoot beast. Now on the front camera, you can also zoom way out. So you can see how wide this is. Look at my lights over here. And you can go ahead and zoom way in on that camera. So you have a lot of width when it comes to the camera on the Pixel 3 XL. That's why the notch is there for two eight megapixel front facing cameras.
So in conclusion, I'm gonna test this phone a lot more. This was just my first impressions. We talked a lot about what it really offers here on the device. So in conclusion, we basically talked about everything, you know, that this phone really is gonna offer up to you. But after 24 hours, I'm actually kind of enjoying this phone quite a bit, mostly for a few reasons. This phone has a nice flat display. Not all phones give you such a large, you know, resolution with flat displays anymore. I mean, on the Android side anyway, a lot of people are going curved. The Mate 20 Pro is curved. The Note 9 is curved. The S9 Plus is curved. This one is flat and it gives you 1440p. I like that. I like the rounded corners. It's actually quite comfortable in the hand to hold the Pixel 3 XL. It's lighter than most big phones. That's another comfort factor of this phone, significantly lighter than most big phones. So you might like that weight distribution a little bit better than heavier devices. I like that it offers wireless charging. It makes it feel more premium. Something very small I like. I just like that you can swipe on this fingerprint. I like the fact that it has a fingerprint. There's no face unlock on this phone. So if you're looking for face unlock, you're not really getting that here. The camera has been super stellar so far. I'm gonna do some camera comparisons. You're gonna see what I'm talking about a little bit further, but this is looking like the go-to phone camera once again in 2018. And the call quality has been drastically improved over my last year experience with the Pixel 2 XL. And that's a big one for me because if I don't have good phone call quality, I'm not using a phone. That's just the way it is. And you now have IP68 on these phones as well. So they're water and dust resistant. The biggest drawback to me is four gigs of RAM. We're gonna have to see how that plays out against some other phones with eight gigs of RAM, like the OnePlus 6T, the OnePlus 6, the Note 9, the S9 Plus. We'll see how it does against those and fares against the iPhone as well, which also has four gigs of RAM. This is more of a competitor to the iPhone, so same RAM there. We'll see how those fare together though. So right now, if you're thinking about picking one up, I can say this is definitely gonna be a strong flagship this year it's probably not the most specced out the most flashiest flagship definitely not but it's a very utilitarian useful phone with a lot of great google features with updates to keep it secure and you'll also have nice additions like the squeeze feature if you're really into you know searching things on google a lot you're gonna love the pixel 3 xl and if you also like an amazing camera on a phone this one is the one to go with if that notch really bothers you when it comes to design elements of this phone, simply hide it if you really want this Google experience. Simply hide it and you'll be happier. Or just get the smaller one. So you can see overall my first impressions, it's actually rather good, just like I felt about the smaller one. Design might be questionable to many, but this phone definitely just works. It's buttery smooth, let's just put it that way. Anyway, get your suggestions in, what you wanna see on the Google Pixel 3 XL, not pink edition, you could see very light, it's like a very, off pink it's not super in your face i think both guys and girls could easily rock this phone it's not like you know super super pink so it's a pretty nice in between for both get your suggestions in let me know your thoughts questions comments concerns on the pixel 3x if you found this video helpful entertaining informing do me a favor click that like button for me and if you're new here consider subscribing for more nick